is the texture of the exterior envelope, the variation of the bricks that makes it a very, uh, instead of a just industrial drab industry, a very attractive presence. It expresses the high technology, but in the same time, it connects with the entire uh, feeling of the, the, the neighborhood. This is the largest urban combined heat and power plant in the world that runs on biofuel. It's set in a really dense uh, urban location in central Stockholm and everything is clad in this uh, beautiful red terracotta. This area was uh, built as the first electricity plant in Stockholm in 1903. And uh, we wanted to make a reference, like a modern translation of this uh, quite classic brick architecture. But we, we wanted to take it into the 21st century. What I think uh, we succeed with in this project is that the building is very gentle to its um, surroundings. I think the shape is a very functional shape. And at the same time, it is a very gentle appearance to the society around. This is an area just in the outskirts of the historical core of Stockholm. And it was the king's hunting ground. So it consisted of grassy areas and oak trees. So we have these oaks that are maybe two or 300 years old. And those, they, those have been very important for this project, for the design of it. As you see, the facade gently slopes, uh, kind of curves to make room for the, for the trees. And they have been kind of um, a key designing uh, force. When designing the project, the environmental issue was very important. The facility itself replaces an old coal plant with biofuel, so that in itself reduces the carbon dioxide footprint. But there were also other aspects of, of environment. For example, being a good neighbor for the people living in the area, this is a very closely populated housing area. And uh, we wanted people who live nearby to feel that this was safe, it was friendly. You can actually walk up to the plant and, and pat at the facade. We want to pay respect to the old industrial buildings by using brick, not in the, in the traditional way, but in a, a modern way. In a way which was appropriate for this um, project. And brick in a traditional way would not be the, the right way to do it. I hope this building will influence the way we uh, build this type of infrastructure in very central urban locations. I mean, in old days, you would have fumes and coal firing. This is something where you can actually have a picnic on the embankments. It's not the, uh, your average kind of pointed, uh, steely, uh, hard surface something else.